Films is not necessarily about a person's ability. I don't think so. Uh, what do I mean by this? Uh, you know, there are certain people who are really very good at sort of cracking, let's say, a, a, a medical entrance exam. There are certain kind of people who can solve or sort of have that ability to crack IIT, um, what is that, JE advanced, right? You need a certain kind of a thinking. Okay, I, I um, you know, I have, um, you know, bachelor's and master's in, 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 um, uh, uh, in electrical engineering and master's in financial, you know, I have, I have a particular pedigree. Even here, I know there is a certain kind of a thinking that you require in order for you to su succeed at your job. Okay, at your, at your course. Prelims is not like that. And I, I really feel this because I said what? Uh, a generally aware person. A generally aware person. Okay. And I'm talking only about prelims, okay? Specifically about prelims, not about means, okay? I'm talking about prelims. A generally aware, aware person can be, you know, it can be a nurse. It can be a doctor. It can be a graduate. It can be a BA. It could be an engineer, right? It can be anybody with a certain, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, certain interest and certain amount of basic reading. If you can manage to that extent, okay, I think you are, uh, it does not matter what is your background. Your background doesn't matter. Your education does not matter. Okay. Your uh, way of thinking does not matter. Anybody can actually do it. Films. Okay. Because it is just about, and most of the subjects is just about your school level sort of uh, understanding and following the contemporary issues, the static and plus the contemporary issues. If you can sort of combine both of them, uh, I think you are set, right? It is, it is not just a very studious kind of a person who is going to, you know, memorize every one of these things and be, be factually loaded in their brain and putting everything and loading everything into their short term memory. And then, you know, vomiting it all out or, you know, just using that memory and then picking all the right answers and only that kind of person. It is not like that. It is not about memory. It is not about anything. It's just about if you can be for the next three months as a generally aware person, then I think you're a lot, lot better off. Okay. A lot, lot better off. Uh, like forming secondary and tertiary questions from issues that we read on news. That's kind of true, right? Trace, yeah, that is that is true, right? So, and this is not only from your prelims perspective, but also from your mains perspective, right? You want to constantly be um, critically analyzing things. And when I say critically, you're not criticizing things, but you're basically asking questions. Is that so? Do I agree with this? Do I not agree with this? When did this happen? What was the one prior to that? If this is the newest technology, what was the technology before this? If there is a technology like this, what can I do today that I could not do yesterday? What to tell me that one USB about this particular technology, right? About this particular technology that I could not have done yesterday. Right. Just, just, just be generally aware of this. Okay. If you take it like this and you just want to become a more knowledgeable person. Okay. You will do a lot, lot better when it comes to your prelims. Okay. And one more thing, you know, and this is not me telling you this thing just to give you some confidence, which I think is my job to give you a little bit of confidence. And, and I will try and strive to do that. But primarily this is, this is, and many of you have, must have heard me say this a lot. This is honestly true. Okay, this is true. This is not only for your confidence. Okay, this is the easiest of all rounds. Primarily because first of all, approximately 4,000 people, uh, sorry, uh, I think 8,000, 10,000 people make it. 4,000 people, 5,000 people make it in general category itself. That is a lot of people. Now, if I tell you, and, and, and to be honest, this is the only round in which there's not much of subjectivity. Okay, remove the guesses. Okay, there's not much of subjectivity. Let's in interview, you cannot say very, very clearly that I got very high marks because I delivered well in that interview hall. Okay, I got 10 marks less than another person primarily because I did so and so and so. You cannot say that. It all depends on that particular day. It depends on the particular mood. It depends on you on that particular. You know, there are a whole lot of factors that go into it. Right. And you will understand, you know, when you get to that particular level, what I'm saying. Same thing in mains. When you are preparing for mains, you know, there will be many of these test series and you might be scoring consistently more than somebody else. But when you go and write in the exam hall, you'll realize that somebody else seems to have done a better job. Okay. Keep that also in mind. In prelims, none of those things are going to happen because answers are in front of you. So what is your job? Identify it. That's all your job is right? Your job is only to identify the answers are given in front of you. Okay. It's basically like they've given you a question paper. They've given you answer sheet also, right? The answer copy also. The only thing is that amongst these things, which one exactly is the answer, which one to the, to you seems like the best option. Okay. That could be the answer. 
Okay, that's all you have to do, and that is why. So not only about the four thousand, but I'm also saying that the answer is in front of you. All you've got to do is identify it. In mains, as any other, na mains me what happens? In mains, basically what happens is that they'll give you like one, you know, like five word sentence, and they expect you to write two hundred and fifty words on. You understand? Everything has to be manufactured by you on that particular day. Prelims me, that is not the case. Prelims, all you've got to do is the answer is in front of you. You just have to be familiar with it, and once you're familiar with it, then you just basically go ahead and tick it. Okay, and that is it. Right and mains every every one of your questions have to go to a certain degree uh, uh, to the best of your ability. In prelims, what is the score? What is the cutoff? Okay, a lot of years it is actually around fifty percent. Sometimes even less than fifty percent. Right. So I'm not saying that just for your confidence. I'm just telling you uh, uh, it's a true story. Now think about this. Who cracks prelims? Um, in the last few days, I've had conversations with many of you. Personally, I've had conversations with you, and I've noticed a few things. One thing is. Um, You got to believe that you're going to do it, right? Uh, many of you are worried that you know last year whatever I did did not work out, okay? And I've not cleared last year's prelims. I did not clear prelims after that. Similarly, some of you you've got to forget everything, okay? Think that you know you're a general category person, person even if you're not, okay? It doesn't matter. Do not give yourself any any sort of excuse. Try to think that you know you have to do to the best of your ability. Thinking that you know you've already started early. You started nine months ago. I have I have read that book last year. Not, nothing matters. Only thing that matters is this three months. Okay, now many of you have gotten started. Let's say two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Forget that. Okay, that is just a bonus. Whatever you have done from now on, you have to think that I'm going to do everything again. Okay, fresh start. Okay, and you can do this. Now, um, see, one of the ways uh, I used to basically think about prelims, and and you know there is no one particular method to cracking prelims. Okay. to become a generally aware person there are many such ways but one thing that i i can tell you is that um but regardless of how the paper is you should still be able to think that i will be in the top 100 i'll be in the top 200 i'll be in the top 300 or at least in the top 4000 come what may right how do we do that so for instance is your foundation strong enough in comparison to somebody else right can you say that you are well prepared than most of the other people can you say even if like one or two questions you know uh, you you've been able to you know sort of you make a mistake or something like and despite all of that can you still say that walking into that exam hall i have done my uh, preparation can you predict all the questions no can you predict any of the questions very very difficult to be honest with you but what you can do is that you can actually stay prepared well okay and i told you this again there are only like five six subjects along with contemporary issues if you can do each and every one of those subjects to a certain extent to the best of your ability okay you're already better off and i'm telling you this for a reason see let's take spectrum okay spectrum is a book that we'll follow for your modern india and 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 in that modern india if i say that are you the best when it comes to your modern india can you compete with anybody and everybody let's say there is somebody who's sitting in bihar somebody in charkhand somebody in kerala somebody in karnataka and somebody in this thing you don't know that particular person you only know a small little circle of your friends okay despite that can you still say that regardless of who that particular person is you can still do really really well okay if there are 100 questions given can you ensure you don't know right i can give you question paper that is not too well it is not easy it is not difficult uh, it could be any of these okay any kind of paper but can you basically say that i will be the best at it okay if somebody can solve 60 can you solve 70 questions right if somebody solves 70 questions can you say 75 questions right all of that if you can do these sort of things then i can say uh, that i am well prepared in that particular subject and the same thing if you can do for five or six subjects you are actually basically done you are honestly you are done with that particular thing i can tell you that if that is the case if you can maintain that level in each and every 5 plus 1 okay 5 6 okay 5 to 6 subjects plus your contemporary issues then i can tell you that you don't have to worry about anything you can just think that you know you're going to be the top 100 or top top 4000 okay that's the whole point and that is what i'm going to basically get you to or at least try to get you to do as well um that is what i would suggest that you guys do as well because see some of you now you have a lot of time okay uh, many of you have finished your classes you have recently told me also that the classes are getting over for many of you some of you have already taken this exam a couple of times have not been able to do well right some of you so so you are getting the picture right regardless of what it is it is 3 months everybody has 3 months with you okay if you can prepare each and every one of your subjects to an extent where you can do 
you can tell yourself that in spectrum also in lakshmi kant also in uh, geography and crt is also in economics also in contemporary issues also in uh, in environment also in every one of these things i feel i have done to the best of my ability trust me guys you are done okay but to get there it takes you some time that is also true okay to get there also it, it is going to take you some time now i'm going to skip a few slides because i there is just basic math that i want to show you um, but i'll tell I'll, I'll focus on some other issues okay and i'll come there let's think about this this exam is not a competition i'm also saying that you have to be in the top 100 top 4000 and i'm also saying that this exam is not a competition okay and this seems like a uh, pretty much a contradiction but think about this i don't enjoy competitions right i love it when it is a game great but when i you know when my job depends on it when my career depends on it you know i have to go home and talk about like what just happened you know this is just too much pressure i don't want to have so much pressure i i'm not great at uh, uh, dealing with pressure none of us are you know so great at uh, dealing with pressure okay why do that think of this is not a competition i never thought of this as competition if i can do x y and z okay i have a complete checklist okay i have a checklist of three months Okay, if I can finish and if I can check off all of these things from my in my in my checklist, okay, one, two, three, four, all of these things, if I can basically have it done, I can tell myself that you know what, I am here. Okay, I don't have to worry about like what you are doing. I don't have to worry about which book you're reading. I don't have to worry about what is a new thing in the market because I have made my plan. Okay, so let us say that I'm at a 30 today and I have to, I'm targeting a 130 today. Okay, and 130 is not that difficult. In many papers, you can actually score, in some of the papers, I've actually scored close to 150. Okay, so it really depends on the paper. So when I say 130, it is not too high, but from here to here is a very difficult and slow path. Slow, slow path. Okay. And this is what you have to go through for at least for, you know, if out of three months, 2.5 months is basically going to be this. Okay. But you should have the patience to go through this. Okay. So don't think of this as a competition. You just think that this, these are the things that I have to do. If I do this and this and this and this, right. And, and we'll talk about what are the individual things that we're going to focus on. If I can finish this particular book, and if I can revise this book, like a so-and-so number of times, if I am able to recall everything from this particular book, if I have done my 12 to 15 months of current affairs, all of these things, if I'm able to do, there is no reason why I will not be able to sort of clear this. Okay. Because I told you, right, prelim is going to be the easiest round. I'm going to skip some numbers and I'll come back to this another time. And always remember, uh, the best way to sort of focus on this is think about this 20, uh, 60, 20 or sometimes it is going to be 20 50 and 25 right uh, and these are somewhat arbitrary numbers but generally and, and many of you will know this okay it is going to be easy moderate and difficult where should you focus a lot of times i start noticing this that you know based on the previous year you know some sort of these 20 a lot of people how many of you are actually guilty of this haven't most of you actually focused on this right? You go for the diff most difficult questions, right? And you spend most of your time actually focusing on these difficult questions. I'll give you an example. I think uh, Olympics uh, motto was asked last year. Okay. What is the motto of Olympics? And for the people who actually watch the Olympics and I'm, I'm a very big sports fan. Okay. And I constantly, you know, I'm putting up status updates and following my, uh, my players and then, you know, it's just a lot of inspiration for me. Okay. I just love it. Okay. For you, it might be relatively simple. Okay. But for many others, it's like, Achha, one particular organization, one particular event, and they're asking for, you know, mottos and slogans. Now, now what is happening? Almost in every test series, you have like some questions about, iska slogan kya hai? Uska motto kya hai? Right? Can you go around, you know, learning mottos of all of those? Okay. Just because one of those questions have come. See, there are going to be questions that you're not going to be able to solve. Right? There are going to be 20 questions, okay, that you have never seen before. Okay, some of them you'll be able to eliminate options. Go ahead, try to attempt those. Some of those questions are not going to be done. But can you tell me in these 80 or 75, I have you done your best? Okay, now forget this. Let's not even compete in these 20 to 25. Okay, and I'm competing with you only on this. Let's compete only out of 75 or 80. Okay, I'm competing with 80 marks. Okay, out of 80, if I'm getting, let us say, net net 60, right? Are you somewhere on par here or are you at like 52? You know what a big difference this is? Okay. These things don't matter after that. The ones that are much easier and the things that you should have done is that gotten eight more right. What went wrong here? It is because you have to focus on your easy and moderate questions as well. And running behind these difficult 20 to 25 every single year. See, three questions go wrong. How much is the difference? Not six marks. It is eight marks. Okay. It, it is a difference between 100 and 92. 100 last year. 
basically it is clearing 92 i don't think it is clearing or barely somewhere in that we don't know the exact cut off that happened right you want to say three questions okay now let alone you know so you have with 75 to 80 questions there are so many of those questions each and every one of these questions are kind of valuable kind of questions these you cannot mess up how do you ensure that you score here focus on the easy and moderate a lot of the questions are going to be it is possible for you to do a lot of the questions are not so when i say a moderate questions it is not directly from your ncert or your standard books but it basically if you can remember those lines very clearly think about it and then apply those concepts and eliminate I remember there was a question last year about uh, uh, you know in which if you had drawn uh, the world map, oh, I'm not able to recall the question exactly. I think it is about like the uh, the ocean currents or something like that. I'm not able to remember. But if you remember the concept really well and you can think about that and then come out, yes, this is true. Yes, this is not true. And then write your answers. Then you can get it right. So basically, this is application. This is like direct, and you will have many of these questions here. You have to be able to compete. Once you get this like to be to a great standard, and you know you're ensuring that you know there is a good strike rate here, then you can focus on your difficult questions and whatnot. But trust me, this itself will take you a good amount of time to get a very high strike rate. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So again, you know, focus on easy and moderate questions. Okay, don't run after difficult questions right away. Uh, so uh, these are some of the questions that uh, you had asked me. Okay, so we will focus on these questions. Um, okay, so how do you work on strike rate? Some of you have asked it as how do you improve your strike rate? Some of you have asked me like how do you reduce the number of negatives, right? Um, you first uh, see this is a good question. Okay, and I'll, I think I'll make a whole whole session on this. Okay, I'll make a whole session on this. Okay, but think about this. Just to tell you in a very simple manner, some of you are scoring one twenty, some of you have scored one forty five, some of you have scored ninety five, ninety three. You get the picture in the same kind of papers. Now, again, this is not a competition. Tomorrow, if you study better, you're going to have a completely different kind of a score. If you are literally fresh the next morning when you're writing your test, you're going to score a lot more. It will. It is going to be different. But let me just ask you: If you had taken that test, okay, with open books, not open internet. open books right open sources the ones that you know you have decided that these are the books that i'm going to do would your score be, have been 10 more is your score going to be 20 more is your score going to be 30 more is your go score going to be like 50 more you have your answer if you're taken let's just say ki you've taken a test on your polity and your polity scores are uh, you know um, let's just say ki uh, you know if you have the question paper you've you've corrected it you got 100 let's just say but then when you open your lakshmikant book and you start solving those questions okay look at this and then try to solve it you may get another 20 30 40 questions right that means what that means your foundation which was your lakshmikant and your ncrts that has not been mastered to that same level right so now you know why somebody has gotten 145 and somebody has gotten 95 both of you know it really well okay but somebody knows it to much much better level you get the picture so strike rate is about your level of comfort with that particular subject now i'm telling you this thing because we are actually focused on sectionals today only four of you have taken a full length test right which is fine and many of you are not ready for full length tests right i've made you write those full length tests because we've done one round of sectionals okay and this is a very short period we are going to keep testing and we have plenty of time it, it only from now it really matters what we do okay and uh, yeah so another thing is that you know just don't go by any of these old patterns okay nothing i've been in this journey for a certain amount of time i can tell you one thing for sure that every single year you walk out of the exam hall and people are like oh my god upsc ne um, you know upsc has basically like you know butchered something or they have like thrown a big surprise at us it's unpredictable unpredictability is basically i mean that is something that you should already know and this happens every single year why do you go and you know expect the same kind of question paper it is not going to be the same person setting that question paper right right it's never going to be the same but if you have if you're the generally aware person generally aware person okay if you're the generally aware person okay it does not matter what is the kind of question paper you should be able to think that yes i am in the top okay 4000 don't even think 4000 okay 100 to 4000 right see the paper is going to be tough you believe it okay don't think that i hope the paper is so and so i hope the question the questions are more of history and polity i hope the questions are less on uh, current affairs i hope the questions are a little less factual more and nothing we did not get to decide any of these things just imagine that the paper is going to be a surprise the paper is going to be tough but you be tough as well right 